My name is Sofia Ferrar, and I'll be telling you all about the beautiful country of Italy. Italy is that famous boot-shaped peninsula located on the continent of Europe. Italy has a variety of different physical features. One special feature is the tallest and most active volcano in Italy, Mount Etna. Another unique feature is the tallest mountain peak in Europe, Mont Blanc. The top of this mountain is actually a glacier, so its height changes seasonally. In the summer, it melts and shrinks, and then in the winter, it refreezes and gains height again. Most of Italy's vegetation is made up of trees, including birch, almond, and many more. Italy has a wide variety of animal life. Lynx live in the Apennines, and wolves lurk in the hills to the south. Italy also houses many types of fish and migratory birds. For most of the year, Italy's people and animals enjoy very moderate weather, but southern summers are long and harsh, and winters in the north are north are get extremely cold. Italy has an intriguing history filled with wars involving many different parts of the world. The Etruscans were the first people to make Italy home. Years later, after the defeat of Napoleon Bonaparte, the famous leader Giuseppe Garibaldi arose. He believed Italy should be one country, so he went to South America to learn to fight. He returned in 1848 and began winning wars in the north. After claiming Sicily, Italy was successfully united under King Eman Victor Emmanuel II. When World War I broke out, Italy took sides with France, Russia, the U.S., and the U.K against Germany and Austria-Hungary. Italy gained land in World War I, but paid a great price. Italy lost half a million people. In World War II, Italy formed the Resistance. The, res the Resistance was made up of brave young men and women who fearlessly risked their lives for their country. Italy's government is known for its inefficiency, but this does not seem to bother the Italians at all. Job applications can take weeks to be reviewed, and mail, especially foreign mail, can take weeks, even months, to arrive. The people who lead the government are the President of the Republic and the Prime Minister. The, pres the President lives in the beautifully and expensively furnished Coronal Palace in Rome. Italy is an economically unbalanced country with a staggering difference between its rich and poor. Italy has many industries, a major one being auto, mainly fiat, which employs a quarter of a million people, half in Italy. Another highly employing practice is steel manufacturing. Tourism and machinery are other popular employments. Italy has few natural resources, so it has to import a lot of natural gases and oil. Italy exports locally grown grapes and olives. Food is a big part of social life for Italians. Many of their days are centered around food. For example, festivals that bring in many different types of food. Italian meals are long and leisurely, in which they talk more than they eat. Italians are high-spirited and enjoy participating in larger-than-life events. Major celebrations include Labor Day, Christmas, and numerous feasts honoring the saints. Palio is a crazy, dangerous horse race that is also very entertaining. Soccer is a very big deal to Italians. Unfortunately, Italian soccer fans are known to stir up violence. The worst occurrence was at the 1985 European Cup, when 39 fans, mainly Italian, died in a broad stadium in Belgium. Italy is an alluring country, drawing people to its unique salvaged history and natural beauty while sending out knowledge in science and art to the rest of the world. Italy entices people with its sandy beaches and endless rolling hills. People from around the world gather to explore the bits and pieces of Italy's intriguing heritage. Even though Italy's economy is not balanced, most people have decent jobs that allow them to provide for their family. The government has its downsides too, but people enjoy entertaining festivals that can cure any droopy spirits. Italy is a wonderful place with each Italian holding enough joy in their hearts for the rest of the world. Thank you.